y a todos nuestros amigos latinos, bienvenidos aficionados al box y feliz día de la independencia de México. Esta es la pelea estelar de la noche. 12 rounds of boxing for the WBC Super Welterweight Championship of the World. And now, ladies and gentlemen in attendance, and boxing fans joining us around the world, live from the MGM Grand in Las Vegas, it's showtime! Introducing to you first, the challenger on my right hand in the red corner. Wearing white trunks with multinational, multicolored trim, hailing from and representing Riverside, California. He weighed in at already 153 pounds, with a record of 30 wins, 4 losses, 1 no decision. He has 18 wins coming by way of knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, here's the former youth and NABF champion, currently the WBC number 4 ranked contender, introducing Josecito. his opponent across the ring, the defending world champion, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing the colors of Mexico red trucks with red and green twin, hailing from and representing Guadalajara, Jalisco, Mexico. He weighed in at the super lucky weight limit of 154 pounds, with a record of 40 wins, no losses, one draw. He has 29 wins coming by way of knockout. And tonight, making the fifth defense of his title, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome one of the dynamic young stars of boxing today, the undefeated WBC Super Welterweight Champion of the World, aquí está el gran ídolo mexicano, Saúl Canel. in charge now to give instructions Joe Cortez all right gentlemen I gave you the rules in the dress room they will be like la regla del don camerino espero una pelea limpia espero good clean fight protege en todo momento remember guys I'm fair but I'm firm we just want to get all over the other door For the main event of the evening, the champion, the 22-year-old Canelo Alvarez versus Jose Cito Lopez, looking for a second consecutive major upset. He wasn't supposed to be here. The paths were not supposed to cross, but they're about to collide at the MGM Grand. It's the WBC Super Welterweight Championship Round 1. The champion Canelo Alvarez in the red, green, and white. The champion, the challenger Lopez in the white with Mexican and American flags. And you talk about different atmospheres in the locker room. In the champion's atmosphere, much like the crowd here at the MGM Grand, a convivial one. Lots of singing, a lot of visitors in and out all night. Meanwhile, in Lopez's dressing room, it was quiet, all business, very focused, very tense. That's for sure. I should point out, I'm, oh, good right hand by Canelo. They're going at it here in round one. I misspoke about the weight. I meant to say that Canelo, despite the fact that Lopez amazingly is a pound more, that he looks bigger than Lopez. But it's a story that Lopez actually is about at the same weight as Alvarez when this fight starts. Opening minute of this championship bout, Lopez said he would bring the fight to Canelo. Canelo used to getting off to a very methodical, very measured pace. Lopez wants to get him out of his rhythm early, Paulus. He does, but it seems like he's trying to measure the strength Canelo has. He's kind of sitting on the back foot working off the jab. There he goes. And a good combination. Of to the body by the challenger. Fighting at a measured pace is Lopez. A lot more measured than he did against Victor Ortiz. What a jab by the champion. Overhand right by Canelo. A little movement from Lopez, not a lot, and a little is what at least what he needs early in this fight. 
It seems like Lopez is trying to feel out what kind of strength Canelo has. It is a new weight for him. I think he's trying to see exactly what, what how things are going to open up here in the first round. Remember, Lopez moved up from 140 to 147 to vanquish Victor Ortiz when Ortiz suffered a broken jaw and capitulated at the end of round nine. And now he's tasting the power of the champion here at 154. Lopez putting together some cool combinations. Yeah, Canelo, nice shots to the body there. Lopez answering back. He's trying. Alvarez is a, a combination puncher. Canelo can't throw combinations, and we're seeing it early in this fight. It's maybe a misnomer some people think about him. Well, Canelo lands a jab, and the left hand just misses. Canelo is actually throwing more power in the first round than, than we're accustomed to seeing him. Yep. We thought it might have been Lopez to try to start fast, but it seems Canelo wants to impose his size and strength early. Canelo and his camp have said it time and again. They are set to take on the next level and wanting to make a statement here on Mexican Independence Day weekend. Headlining his first major fight in the fight capital of the world, Las Vegas, and off to a good start here with 10 seconds remaining in the opening round. Canelo Alvarez, Jose Cito Lopez for the WBC Super Walter Weight Championship. For Canelo Alvarez, he wants to create some doubt early. He may have done that with some monstrous left hooks. And the one-two will work. I think the jab and a straight right hand, which he also threw, is good. And guess what? He threw that hook to the body a lot. So, so far, in my mind, he's on pace in those keys to victory. Now, for Lopez, he can't remain stationary during the course of this fight. He has moved a bit. He's tried the double left hook early. It didn't quite work. Got to use his hand speed. He has not done that with combination punching yet. I'll tell you, it uh, looks like Canelo read your keys to victory before he got in the ring. <laughs> Apparently. It seemed to me Lopez in that first round had trouble finding his distance a little bit. He was trying to, the times he did try to get off combinations, he either landed them, they got blocked, or Canelo actually stepped back and Lopez found himself kind of having to stop the combination midway through. So let's see, he was a little tight. It might have been the crowd noise. It might have been this new atmosphere. Let's see how he relaxes here in round two. Round two underway. Canelo Alvarez paying tribute to the, the legendary boxing and boxers who have been coming out of Mexico over the years with the throwback trunks and really very excited to be fighting on this Mexican Independence Day weekend. Although Lopez now bringing the fight to the champion has Canelo on the ropes and he told us in the fighter meeting that somewhere he wanted to there keep the champion. Nice, hook, nice, nice hook right hand. Good left hook right hand by Lopez there. Alvarez clapping his hands telling him to bring it. Now you notice Lopez stepped away after that exchange. He doesn't want to just stand there and exchange with it, with Canelo. And Canelo Alvarez now a couple of left hooks to the body and now putting together the combination. Tagging Jose Cito Lopez. Great action here in round two. Oh, and a right uppercut finds the target. Lopez said, what will Canelo do if he's faced with adversity? In that mini moment, Canelo answered the call. He came back after getting whacked against the ropes. Yeah, he actually looked like he got angry and threw some heavy, heavy shots. Great combination. The left hand to the body and the left hook upstairs by the champion Canelo Alvarez. Action is opening up here in round two. Another flurry of punches from the champion. The Lopez. jab on the proboscis. Lopez is staying off the ropes, not letting him Self get trapped. Nice hook by Lopez. And He's Lopez got a good one. Showcasing composure here, not getting lost, not getting caught up in the moment. His trainer, Henry Ramirez, feeling that he's as strong, as fast as he's ever been, despite moving up what is essentially two weight classes. Gets tagged with the right hand, comes back with the right, but misses with the left. A minute left here in the second round, and Lopez again. Missing with that right hand is Canelo Alvarez a bit able to avoid it. And has Lopez on the ropes, left hook to the liver. Lopez likes to counter punch off the ropes. That's not a good strategy against Canelo, but he said, I'm gonna try it a couple times and see how I do. He's doing it right now. Well here, this is Canelo imposing his size here, guys. He's cutting off the ring. He's trying to trap, trap Lopez on the ropes and use his physicality. 30 seconds left in the second round. These are good competitive rounds so far in this fight. 
So he's walking him down again. He's trying to impose that size and create that doubt inside Lopez's head. Canelo able to land a couple of jabs. Another jab. But the difference, this powerful left hook to the body. And remember, we said Lopez should not back himself against the ropes. He knew he shouldn't. Henry Ramirez knew he shouldn't. But he did, and he paid for it. I love how Canelo set up that hook to the body. He, it's, it's a throwaway punch. That second punch was kind of a throwaway soft right uppercut. He kind of just touched him with it. He didn't throw it hard. And then he just to get the momentum to his left side of his body, so he could put some torque on that hook to the body. Great setup punch and a great hook to the body. For the second time in his career, Lopez was on the canvas and just beating the count imposed by referee Joe Cortez. Round three underway. How will Lopez respond to his first taste of adversity in tonight's main event? They said they sparred with 160 and 170 pounders so he could feel the power, but the power of Alvarez right now with regulation size gloves made a difference. And that's the thing, Al, These, the, it's the fight gloves. When you wear yep. fight gloves, the regulation gloves, it's a lot different than sparring. Those things hurt. Yep. Alvarez again working behind his jab. Goes to the body and then the right uppercut. Canelo beginning to score it well, but Lopez showing his fight. And now He's too small. Lopez down. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Lopez may be small, but he's very game, and he stays in the fight despite tasting the ferocious power of Canelo Alvarez going to the body. Jackson's jaw with the left uppercut. He doesn't know. It's just he may be undersized here, but man, is he game. And again, Alvarez going to the body. Lopez against the ropes where he doesn't want to be, but still fighting on valiantly. Right hand by Alvarez. A return right from Lopez that misses, and Alvarez sticks the jab. Another jab. Goes to the body. Uppercut. Lopez in trouble in the corner. Lopez circling away. Three seconds left in the third round. Lopez has been down twice in the fight. Lopez just landed an excellent right hand that did nothing to Canelo. The talk amongst boxing pundits and fans alike. The size of Canelo Alvarez. Would it prove to be too much so far? The power has proved to be too much for Lopez here as we in the third round again. Seconds left, one way traffic, and Lopez oh. coming back with a body shot of his own. And Canelo's body shot to the heart. I, I don't know how Lopez is taking these. Man, is he game? And he's actually coming back with some good shots of his own at times. No one can question the heart of Jose Cito Lopez. Lopez has found a home for the straight right hand, but that's all. Ten seconds left in the third round. Right hand by Lopez. Another round in the books for the champion. Oscar De La Hoya, the golden boy, watching, well, boxing's new golden boy, Canelo Alvarez. We look again at the second knockdown of this fight. Several looks from above. 
he gets great leverage on these body shots. A terrific left hook downstairs after he had landed the combination to the head, which Paulie talked about him setting up that body shot. He did it again, and Paulie, from every angle, it's just as painful. Yeah, and you know what? I, I love the variation. Canelo touches up top, goes downstairs, goes downstairs, and comes back up top. You know, Lopez is so game. He, I, he's not only getting up, he's getting up and fighting back. He, he's not looking for a way out of here. We'll see how much more he can take, or if he can get Canelo's respect here in the coming rounds. He's got to do something to get that respect, because it's one-way traffic. But I tell you, Lopez isn't even looking at his corner for help or anything. I mean, he gets up and he fights. Yes. Round four underway. Many boxing experts thought that Canelo Alvarez would record a mid-round stoppage over the smaller but definitely very game Jose Cito Lopez who went down from the left to the body with 10 seconds left in round two down again 55 seconds into round three from a, another left hook to the body now we've said by trade Lopez is not really a boxer now he's being forced into that now moving jabbing can he use this style effectively even just to buy time we'll see Canelo Alvarez, a stalker in this fight. Not as careful and methodical as he normally is. A huge advantage in the power punching department for the champion. And what a percentage. When you land at 60 some percent, 62 percent, that's staggering in the show stats. And that's a lot of credit has to do with that. Oh, and he touches him again with the right hand. Sorry, Polly. Sharp, sharp, sharp counter punches. Sharp, sharp counter punches. You know, the high percentage of landing is also the variation. Lopez doesn't know where it's coming from. It's up top, it's to the bottom, it's from the left side, it's from the right side. Variation is the key to a lot of the offense Canelo's having success with. Left uppercut grazes the chin. Lopez stays in the pocket, comes forward with a combination of his own. He's been battered, he's been bruised, he's been dropped twice, but he remains in the fight with a minute 20 left in the fourth round. Straight right hand from the champion. And again, he goes to the body, and again, Lopez is in trouble, doubled over, and he thinks that may have been a low blow. to injury here. You tell me when you're ready. Well, he's got five minutes. If I was him, I'd take my time because he probably has to recover from the rest of the offense that Canelo's dished out. So this is an opportunity for Lopez to kind of regain his composure and not only recover from the low blow, but also recover from some of the punishment he's taken. Let's see what he does here. We will see it and we can deduce whether it was in fact low. Really? That, that one was. was it yes. was kind of on the belt line, but just uh, low enough in. that it would be no, classified a low blow. Give Canelo Alvarez. He didn't try and throw another punch there. Yeah, good sportsmanship. Yeah, it is good sportsmanship. And Lopez taking only 45 seconds and jumping right back into the fray. I'll tell you, I, I, I don't think I could respect Lopez, Lopez more going into the fight, but I, I've got newfound respect for him. I mean, he's just tough. He's a tough man, and uh, even there, jumping back into the fray, maybe sooner than he should have. When in doubt, he just punches, he just yeah. fights. Lopez doubles up on the jab and goes downstairs to the body. And now it's Lopez opening up, but again, the champion absorbing all the shots and really not showing any effect from Lopez's offense. And this mentally, what Canelo's doing here is trying to break Lopez down by walking him down right through on his offense. And, and there back he goes again shots. to the body and the right hand. Lopez is down for the third time in this fight. That's tough. But Lopez had just thrown a lot of punches. He's probably trying to get his win back. And while he's trying to recover his air, he got hit with a combination. Round four is in the books. It's all Canelo Alvarez. For the third straight round, Josecito, before the knock, knockdown, this is the low blow that created issues for Josecito Lopez. He took about less than a minute to walk that off. 
Then Lopez had his moments in this round. Coming back, landing a right hand and some other shots. Didn't land them all cleanly, but you can see how aggressive he was here. However, Canelo came back and with the body attack as a staple for the third straight round would send Lopez down to the canvas. And again, the variation caused that knockdown. You saw the jab, you saw a right uppercut, you saw hooks to the head, to the body. A lot of variation from Canelo. Fifth round underway here at the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. WBC Super Welterweight Champion Canelo Alvarez in the red, green, and white trunks. The challenger, Jose Cito Lopez, moving up in weight. In the white with Mexican and American flags on his trunk. So just when you think Lopez may be coming to the end of the night, he gets up, dusts himself off, and he looks focused again. He's coming out, popping jabs this round. He's trying to do something. But Canelo showcasing, as you mentioned, Polly, a diverse attack, continuing to hone his skills. Let's not forget, despite this being his 42nd professional fight, he's just 22 years of age, and again attacking the body, ripping away with the left hands. And Lopez, Lopez comes back. Lopez is getting caught on those ropes way too much, and that's what's helping create these opportunities for Canelo Alvarez. And Canelo again, three-punch combination. You can tell Joe Cortez looking very carefully in there, but uh, Lopez punching back and punching back well right now. And yet, Canelo was hands down, taking the shots and coming back with potent punches. Again, ripping away at the body is the champion. Lopez needs to circle away from the ropes. I'll tell you what, Lopez defensively has made a slight adjustment when he's on the ropes. He's, he's moving his head a little bit more. Yeah. Before he was just putting his hands up. As I say that, he stopped moving his head. He might be tired. Joe Cortez looking very carefully, but I'll tell you what. I don't know that he wants to stop this fight right now. Lopez is doing a good job. Lopez landing a lot of punches in this round. Not powerful, but landing them. Yeah, yeah. Final minute of the oh, fifth wow. round, and Lopez catches the champion with a right hook. Oh, my. And three good right hands. And oh. a left uppercut. Lopez, Lopez showcasing his second win here in the 47 seconds left in the fifth. He's a live dog, guys. You, we talk, we compared him to Rocky. I mean, this is Rocky-esque. Fighting a bigger man and still not, not willing to give in but trade. And yet, Alvarez again going downstairs with the left hands to the body. Tattooing Lopez along the ropes. 30 seconds left in the round. That last sequence took something out of Lopez. And now a couple of uppercuts with Lopez again along the ropes. Alvarez. Left uppercut misses, right hand connects. Ten seconds left in the round, and referee Joe Cortez intervenes. He's seen enough. Canelo Alvarez retains the WBC Super Welterweight Championship. A game, but overmatched Jose Cito Lopez. Vegas knowing he was a huge underdog and for Canelo Alvarez doing what he needed to do he closed the show in impressive fashion and Paul the Punisher Williams a great guest on hand here a guest of Canelo Alvarez in fact he was supposed to be Canelo's opponent tonight before fate intervened and a tragic accident left him paralyzed below the waist and Victor Ortiz thumbs up he was also supposed to be Canelo's opponent before running into Jose Cito Lopez but He's showing his his uh, his uh, thoughts on this fight. Thumbs up. An excellent performance by Alvarez, by Canelo Alvarez, and I don't want to rain on his parade, but that last round demonstrated some of his defensive liabilities, and those two men at ringside, obviously in Paul Williams' case, tragically not able to fight, but even Victor Ortiz, Victor Ortiz thinking to himself, what if that was my left hands that were landing? Would it have been better? I'm a 147 pounder, but still, this young man is a, a fan-friendly fighter who has tremendous offensive and, skills. And I think that's one of the reasons why he's fan-friendly, right? Yeah, it's the part, fact that there are those defensive flaws. Too. Part of the allure to making an yes. exciting fighter is that he's hittable. Yeah. I mean, Canelo has an incredible offense, great yeah. variation, yeah. and tremendous amount of power. 
but the fact that he's hittable makes him yep. that much more exciting. When you're a slightly vulnerable champion, you are gold. <laughs> and you can uh, use offense like he does. And a lot of times fans, time, fans appreciate you more. This is where Josecito Lopez first got in trouble in this round. Now, Lopez landing a nice right hand as he had been, but that body work by Canelo Alvarez was just devastating in this he, fight. He liked to use that uppercut to set up that body shot. It's, a, it's the same thing he did in round one. And here's where the stoppage happened. Joe Cortez looking carefully in it. There's no question Lopez was taking some punishment here. And Joe Cortez says that's enough. And Lopez not really too much of a protest. Another look at it. Alvarez landing that pulverizing right hand and ripping hooks. That one missed, but clearly he had Lopez against the ropes and in some trouble. Remember, Lopez had been down three straight rounds, so good, good stoppage. Yeah, there's there, there's context to this. Although Lopez had had very good moments in this round, he did. He did. He was he was fighting the whole time, but ultimately Lopez is just so brave. He's not going to fold. So no. somebody has to rescue him from that. And his his power just wasn't enough to hurt. Canelo, and as he wails away with that straight right, the concern by Joe Cortez was how he got tangled up here and might have been in a vulnerable position where he wouldn't be able to avoid a punch. Let's get up to Jimmy Lennon Jr. for the official announcement. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the time of two minutes, 55 seconds in round number five. Our referee in charge, Joe Cortez, stops the contest. He is the winner by way of technical knockout. He is still undefeated and still the WBC Super Welterweight Champion of the World, El Gran Idolo Mexicano, Saul Canel. Mexican Independence Day weekend. It is indeed Viva Mexico as Canelo Alvarez closes the show, stopping Josecito Lopez in the fifth round, remaining undefeated and defending the WBC Super Welterweight Championship. And the experts, well, they got it right. They thought it would be a mid-round stoppage, and it ends in the fifth.